hello hello everyone welcome back to the channel thank you for tuning in it's your girl beloved and i'm back with a new recipe for the channel beloved catering service is a business where we make all kinds of cakes butter cookies shortbread cookies coconut biscuits sugar cookies brownies ring donuts meat pies samosa spring rolls and all kinds of fruit drinks and fruit juices especially so bully. we also make all local rice dishes and Ghanaian authentic dishes we cater for all events and occasions and any form of gatherings you can contact us with the information provided on your screen Hello guys, so in today's video we are going to be making millet porridge which is in the next video and these are the ingredients we are using we have here some ginger, we have some cloves, some dried red pepper and then one cup of millet as you can see we have our bowl for soaking the millet and then for rinsing off we have some water here and then we cover it with this clean film after the rinsing and the soaking is done before that i would be very happy if you could subscribe to my channel right now and then turn on your post and notification icon so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video onto the channel and please share my videos with your friends and family please subscribe first off you are going to begin by pouring in the minutes And then we add in this water here. Rinse it for the first time. So this is how it looks like. I'm going to fetch it like this. Place it here. Same way. Until everything here is placed into this bowl. This is what we've got. And this is our millet here. You can see it sticks to my hand. And this is our water. So we are going to trash the water. This is the bowl of water. We are going to add in the millet once again. And then we rinse it for the second time. So this is it. This is how it looks like with the water settled on top of it. We are going to pour this water here. So this is the millet which we've washed. You can see there's still some water underneath. But if I try pouring it, it's the millet that will pour. So we are going to leave it at that. Adding this water here. Push everything inside. And then leave it for 12-24 hours so however long you want it to be by it should be overnight so i'm doing this around 7 pm which is tuesday around 7 pm today is the 12th of um, november so what we are going to do is that we are going to continue this process on the 13th of november and i'm sure the porridge will be done on the 14th of november so this video will be kind of an overnight overnight kind of thing so we are leaving this and then we are going to cover it with some clear film. This is the clear film we're covering the bowl on this side, stretching it out and then we are going to leave it for 24 hours, which is overnight. So we'll continue this process tomorrow morning around 7 a.m. And that will be 12 hours and we are sure by then the millet will be soaked and good to go for blending with the rest of the ingredients here and we'll trash this water as well so see you tomorrow morning bye hi guys it's 4 p.m the next day so that means we've done it more than the 12 hour mark we decided to do it for because i had things to do this morning so this is how it looks like 
after all the soaking was done, I'm going to remove the clear film. And this is how it looks like on the inside. So what we are going to do is that we are going to trash this water. But I'm adding in some water to rinse it off. I'll pour this one. This is how it looks like. I'm going to fetch it like this into the blender cup. This is our millet. I'm going to pour in some water here. Wash off the pepper, the cloves, and then the ginger. The ginger, we are not going to peel it off its cover. I'm just going to use a knife to cut it. And then we continue from there. So I'm placing in the peppers, the cloves. This is the ginger. I'm going to fetch it and then place it right on top of the rest of the ingredients here. The blender. Place it here for blending. And then we blend everything onto a sweet powder of So this is how everything looks like. You can see it's very liquidy. Unfortunately, as I have thought in mind, when you want to get it done, it should be in a powdered form before you add water for it to be like this. But since the blender wasn't doing the job, although the millet was soaked more than 12 hours, I had to try the dry parts of the blender as well and it wasn't working that much. So we added water and this is it. We are going to sift everything here. So. This is what we've been able to achieve. As usual, it looks more colored than it should be because in my home, we love a lot of spice and pepper. So I added in a lot of pepper to suit our taste. But you can skip that and then do what you prefer. Maybe you don't love a lot of spice, you can skip that and then do as you do in your home usually. This is how it looks like no stirring no touching nothing we are just going to cover it till tomorrow morning today is the 13th of november we are doing this around 4 37 pm so i'm covering it we are doing this so that it ferments and then by tomorrow morning the water will settle on top and then that water will be used for the preparation of the porridge. We are not going to put this whole thing on fire. We are just going to fetch the water on top, let it boil, add in a little bit of this with some of the water mixed in it, and then we boil it on the fire, transfer the rest into it, and our porridge is ready for consumption. So we have covered it. We are leaving it till tomorrow morning. See you guys tomorrow morning. Hi, guys. So it's day three. Today is the 15th of November. We started this process on the no, today is the 14th. Sorry, we started this process on the 12th of November and we've done everything overnight. Overnight, so finally, this is how it looks like. I have to push it slowly because the water has settled on top, and that is what we are going to use to prepare the porridge. We'll boil that. So, this is the saucepan we are using. I remove the clear film. And then pour the water. So 
So this is what we've got to prevent the porridge from having any kind of egg when you eat it, as in like when you bake a cow in the local terms. We are adding some water to it. And then we'll boil this. So you can see that this is settled and done it. I have to mix everything together with my hand. Because it's stuck to the bottom. A spoon can't really do the job. So you have to use your hand. You can see it's still stuck at the bottom. See. And our water is also on the fire as you can see we are waiting for it to boil and then we start the process and this is it so we are about to start the porridge process this is what we did in the beginning let's try it pan. And our water is also boiling here. So I'll fetch some of the water here, place it into our calabash, and then fetch some of the mixture and add it to it. Then we mix. So I'm adding the mixture here. We we'll mix it together. So I'm adding it to it. Then we we'll mix. So look at this. If you want it very lighter than this, you need to add in more hot water and then mix with the whisk. Transferring it from our saucepan into our calabash here. This is our porridge. Let's save some here. And this is where today's video ends. Thank you so so much for watching. Make it a point to watch all our new videos this and every Thursday and Sunday for wholesome content and amazing recipes you can try with your friends and family. This year, I would like you to try every recipe that we post on the channel and then give me feedback in the comment section. Also, don't forget to turn on your post and notification icon with the inscription all so that every Thursday and Sunday if we post new videos, you will find it and we post short videos from monday to sunday so you can check that out as well follow us on all our social media platforms on facebook tiktok instagram and here on youtube by subscribing help us to grow this channel till we meet again dear viewers bye bye